gigs out in the Midwest, you know, out Iowa and, and further west into those states, you know, celebrities go to buy a log cabin and buy a fucking <laughs> pretend they own a grizzly bear outfit, right? You go out there and they had like those before and after pictures of people on meth. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, holy shit, that, that made, that blew my fucking mind. And now looking at these guys. I mean, I guess this isn't as bad as meth, but just watch. Human watching. beings will always find a way to get high, though. New, creative ways to get high. Like, that's just kind of how it goes, don't you think? But I'm going like, to sound like an old man here. What, what was wrong with what the fuck we did? You can't just drink a couple of beers? <laughs> I mean, what, that, that fucking drink that they're drinking, that's like shit homeless people do. Or like, like full-on alcoholics and people will not fucking give you like money for booze anymore. And you just don't have it. That, that's what they used to do. They I go and they start drinking pre- NyQuil. Yeah, because prescription, any of that stuff is really like, I don't know. I've never drank that kind of stuff before, but it's supposed to mimic the feel of op- opioids, I thought. Opioids? O- opioids. <laughs> Opiates, you mean? Oh, no. Opioids is, is the correct, right? I think that's some bump on your ass. No, that's a hemorrhoid. <laughs> I thought opiates. I thought it's opiates. Opiates, but and hemorrhoids. opioids is also a word. It is, I think. Is that when you take like the Q-tip, lace with the shit, and you put it in your ass? I don't know why rave? you are obsessed with the ass, <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, there was a thing that these kids were doing. They were soaking something. What? They was. I swear to God. I swear to God. I went down a rabbit hole. How these kids get high? There was this fucking thing they were doing. They were taking some like a Q-tip or something, and they were soaking it in this shit that got you high. And then they'd stick it in their ass because there's a thin membrane sure, there. I believe it. Yeah, like how people blow coke up each other's ass and stuff. No. Yeah, that's a thing. That is not a thing. It is. I, I, now, you know what? I'll go with the it fucking Q-tip thing. up the ass. No, it totally is a thing. Hang on a sec. That is not a fucking thing. It is. <laughs> the old coke in the ass. <laughs> just, just, yeah, just picture what that looks like. What do you, you cup it in your hand and then you, you go spread it wider. Wider and yeah, no fucking way. You probably use like a straw to funnel it in the anus. Really? And how well do you know this person? <laughs> hey, dude, we've been friends for a while, right? You know, I've seen you drink drinks. You use a straw. I use a straw, right? That's not really crazy, you know. And we both have asses, so I got this bag of coke. Hear me out. Just hear me out. Just sit out. Sit out. Just listen to me. I'm not taking my pants off. I was just adjusting my belt. Listen. All right. Coke. This is going to be on my fucking search engine now. Next time I go to the Apple store. Coke up. The ass. Up the bum. Up the, up the bum. anus. Up the, the arse. Ass. Up the arse. So it's even in England. I got cocaine blown up my ass so you don't have to. What? Oh, that's a Vice article. Of course it is. Okay, wait. Anal use. Rectal administration. Mm-hmm, I told you. This is you. drugsforum.com, so. <laughs> don't put cocaine in your butt, people. <laughs> That's at Reddit. <laughs> uh, Liveleak.com. Man blows cocaine up a woman's ass. Yeah. Was it's he trying like to big, numb it before like he stuck his fatty in there? Thing. Yeah. So. Okay, wait a, wait a well, second. Well, you don't Encyclopedia have to Dramatica. investigate it more. Just know that it's a thing that exists. All right, well, then I got to look mine up. Well, I got to read the article here. All right, this is what you need. Some sort of fucking uh, <laughs> kitchen knife, don't, a spoon. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not tell people how to do it. Okay. I mean, I guess when the, I Okay, this isn't already. real, Neil. When the internet was suddenly abuzz with rumors that getting a friend to blow coke up your ass with a straw was worth the trouble, I had to see if I'd been doing it all wrong. <laughs> After all, blow doesn't come with instructions. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get to the fucking point. All right? I don't, there's not going to be a video of this, is there? Okay, okay. Uh, I know it's funny. I said, hoping the conversation would recover, but I just wanted to understand the possible health effects on a more fundamental level. Okay, so he called somebody, physician's viewpoint, and a very nice woman named Kate spoke to me. I asked her about it, and she fell silent. He said, I know it's funny. I said, I was hoping... She says, it's more sad, actually. He said, oh, yeah, that's the word I should have used, sad. Overall, Kate was extremely helpful and promised to contact all the gastro... uh, Something or all just... Still, the internet had spoken. I had to try it. Da, 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 da. This guy, okay, he's, I'm going to go with the pictures. Now he's got the spoon. He sticks it in a vial. 
All right. In the end, my high was no more significant than when I opt for the more orthodox approach. All right. So people are doing it. Because there was the other thing, the thing I was talking about, rave. Let me look this up. Rave. Drugs. Ass. Search. <laughs> Somebody got their booty eaten at an, at an American festival. Strange oh, happenings regarding EDM festivals, raves and drugs. Strange happenings regarding EDM festival, raves and drugs, them, dot, 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 them, and going to eat their ass. Not really, and not what people are thinking. How to smuggle in gear to a concert. Jesus Christ, shaking her ass at a rave party. Wicked woman. I don't know. I, you All know right, what? can okay. we move off of this topic? This is getting weird. Maybe it's getting weird. We're not doing it. We're just researching it. <laughs> We're like Pete Townsend. Hey, the same.